this is Max Schwarz and I will uh, show you another Chrome extension that will um, improve your um, productivity working Google Chrome with LinkedIn, Xing, Stack Overflow and all the platforms you need. It's called Highlight This. So this is um, a search I did for data engineer. Um, for this I looked for three categories of skills. I will just copy them to Notepad so it's easier for you to see. So you can see it's Flume, Nefi, Gear Pump, Apex, Kafka, Storm, Spark, Samsung, Flink, Ignite, blah blah blah. This is a um, screen processing platform. The next um, parenthesis encompasses um, big data databases, HBase, Cassandra, MongoDB and Hive. And the last parentheses are programming, programming languages relevant to big data. Within whole Europe, I came to 12,271 results. And I will just open the first two guys for you, Damien and Ben here. So let's see what's up with them. We can see now um, the terms I've been looking for are highlighted. You know this, this is just how LinkedIn works, which is kind of cool. Spark, Java is highlighted here, and MongoDB. But um, this is quite nice, but I thought it would be even cooler if the terms would be highlighted in the color specific to their category, right? So I want to see with one site um, what is like the pattern of his skills. If he's rather like strong with programming, so we would also have maybe Lejour and Python. Or if he's rather the, the big data guy who has not only Spark but all the other um, 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 things uh, I had here, you remember maybe even Flume, Nefi, Gear Pump and so on. So um, it would be cool just to have a specific color for every set of tools here. For the languages, for the databases, for all the stream processing platforms. And this is exactly what I found. And I will just fire up the script for you to see what's the effect. So it's called highlight this and I will just Enable it, now it's on, and I will just reload the search results page and you will see what happens. So now you can see that this is red, this is blue. I will explain to you in a second. I will just open again the two first results. No idea why Ben has disappeared here. We just take color. Um, now this is different because Java is not uh, anymore highlighted with yellow background but with the keys background. And Spark is with green and um, Hadoop is also with green. Um, MongoDB is still yellow uh, because I, I didn't uh, define a category for this. But you, you can see that Jenkins and Docker, which I didn't even enter in my search pattern, as you remember, there's no Jenkins and Docker. They are also marked with their own color. So this is very cool because Jenkins and Docker are DevOps tools and the client wants a data engineer with DevOps skills. So this is exactly what I want to do. I can see with uh, really like a couple of seconds just looking like this through the profile what are more or less his skills. And um, another cool thing is that um, some candidates are red here in the overview. You can see this and here this one is also has something red there. <clears throat> also, Andres and Hermann. <coughs> Sorry. Um, 
Why did I, I define it like this? If I mark the text like this, you can see it's 2007 till present, 2017 till present, and you know, as you're an experienced saucer, that it doesn't make any sense to ask people who worked for less than one year for the current employer, because they won't be open to a change, because they don't want to appear like job hoppers, or they just want to give their current employer a chance, even if they are just uh, unhappy right now. So it's very cool to just ignore them. You can see it within a quarter of a second that Karankua Karunaka is not the guy you want to ask here. So I think you, you got an idea why this tool is very nice. Um, by the way, it works everywhere. Um, for example, um, also in Google, I will just look for a Spark in Jenkins and Google, and we'll see um, it also works there. So you can see it's also there. Um, maybe you just don't want it in Google. Um, you can define an exception. I can go here into the configuration menu under settings and say, I don't want Google Google um, to be included, I would just make a, um, a refresh of the site. You will see that it's not anymore highlighted here. And you can define every site, you can exclude every site, you don't want the highlighting to happen. Now how this is this whole thing configured? Um, there's this thing, yeah, well, one very well, a little bit nerdy, but funny thing. There is a detailed statistic of um, the terms highlighted on the current page. And I can configure its groups right here. So you can see there are five groups. Apache Big Data, Data Science, DevOps, Programming, Languages for Big Data Engineering, and the current year. I can um, open this here. And... Um, Yeah, as you can see, I can define the name of the list, I can define the um, foreground and background color, and of course the terms. Every new line is in a term, and I can even use wildcards. Uh, the joker, um, the, um, the asterisk is um, for um, extensions, like, as you know, um, like in Xing, this would include project manager and project management and everything. And this one is to just um, replace one sign. For example, I can see, uh, for example, I can Google. This is just for Google and everything, which has Google, Google and one more um, character. So this is very cool, very customizable. And um, yeah, data science is this list. So I've defined all these lists. And you, you can define for every list also on which site it should uh, happen and which not. So this is a very cool tool. Um, you can also pause um, certain lists. For example, say um, I have two positions I'm sourcing right now. Um, data engineer and Java engineer. And these are quite different profiles and I would just pause all these um, data engineering specific lists and add some Java programming specific lists and it's very convenient, the, the management here. So I reactivate this. And you can even filter like for um, certain skills. You can enter Jenkins here and it finds the list where it's inside so I mean wow this tool is for free it's incredible um, yeah I think this is the bottom line of the tool I explained everything that's relevant and yeah you can find it on the Chrome App Store just uh, look for highlight this and uh, have fun <laughs>